Fortune, I hear you have given him a performance-based contract. Yes. It's a two-year contract, but it's performance-based. Mm -hmm. So what are you basing on? Because I, I know you guys, there's something that you really want. Obviously, uh, the chairman will also take us through all that. But what do you mean when you say performance-based? Performance-based speaks for itself. You perform, you go further. <laughs> you don't perform, you go out. Are there targets that you've given him? Yes, there are targets. There are targets. We've given him the first six games. And on those six games, we need 18 points. Hey, my mate, that's poor. That's Help me out here. Help me wins. out here. Six wins out of six. Six wins. Yes. Six out of six. Six out of six. If he doesn't, he's out. <laughs> we'll talk about that when we cross the bridge. <laughs> so, I will bring in you here, Chairman. Yes. Um, you are a very ambitious side. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, getting on uh, Mangombe on, on board speaks about the ambitions that you've got. What really happened with this deal? Did you go to him so that you could resign at Dynamos? Because I know the guy was under pressure. At, at Dynamos. But all of a sudden here he's resigned in less than 24 hours you guys have lashed on and you, you, got, you got the man. How did you get Genesis? Well, I think we got the news just like everybody else. Uh, we saw an announcement, I think um, they posted either on Facebook or Instagram that uh, they'd relieved him of his duties. And after we saw that, you know, this is, uh, uh, you know, we, we have ambitions of playing top flight football and his coaching skills and um, what we've seen him do, we think he can work well for Scotland. So we took the opportunity. Once we saw that uh, he was no longer at Dynamos, we pounced on that opportunity and we, we called him and the, everything else is history. He, called, he came and, and I think his ambitions align with, with our principal's ambitions. So it, just, it was a match made in heaven mm, so you, far. Were, were you following his, his, his time at Dynamos, were you following him? I mean, you know, Dynamos is a big team. So, I mean, naturally people watch their games and see what they're doing. So, not, not him per se, but we're watching the games that were happening in the, in the, in the top flight. So, those are one of the, some of the teams that we watch because mm. we anticipate to be in the top flight mm. next Cause, year. Because he was getting a lot of flack, hey, from, from the supporters. And I'm not saying he's not a good coach. Right. Yeah, get me right. I'm not saying that. But... Look at his success rate. At Dynamos, yeah, big brand and maybe different competition because you guys are still in Division One. Right. Yeah, and I understand his ambitions and your ambitions align, but do you think you'll be able to deliver what you guys want with, with the amount of time that you guys have got? Um, I mean, we have, a lot of, we have a lot of hope, you know, in this new union with this new coach, and we think he'll deliver. I, I don't see anything that will hinder him in this, um, in Division One. I. I think, you know, uh, the top flight is, is might be a little different. Division one, you know, it, it's a little different. But I think I think he's the man for the job. Mm.